Okay, what we're trying today, even with this box with bricks in it, is to test to see what distance works best between the end of the tube where the bolt is located and where the coil is. Let's test the coil is up about one inch and we're going to test that, see how that works. Where'd the bolt go? Huh. Nice little. Oh, it's in the. The bolt went into the box. Very interesting. The bolt is inside the box. Now let's try adjusting the coil a little bit. Okay, here we go again. This time the coil is at one half inch on the end of the tube. And we're going to try again and see what kind of response we get. Huh. Did not penetrate. So the answer to the question is the coil should be one inch up the tube. Let's try maybe a little further. Okay, test three. This time the coil has moved up about an inch and a half from the end of the tube where the bolt sits. And we're going to test this and see what we get. Ooh. Didn't even penetrate the box. Okay, back it up. Okay, we're back at one inch from the tube end. Bolt loaded. And we're ready for another test firing. And here we go. Yep. Right right through and in the box at one inch. Okay. Okay, this time we have the coil at one inch from the end of the tube, bolt loaded, and the steel over top. And we'll see what we get this way. Ooh, didn't quite penetrate. That's interesting. Well, definitely had a lot of power though. Okay, the coil is back at one inch without the uh, steel cover on it. And we're going to shoot at the box once again. A little bit to the left so we don't end up in the box the same area. And let's see what we got. Ooh, not a full penetration. Well, it's in there pretty good though. Box is getting rather beat up. Okay, this time the coil's at one inch with the steel over it. We're still trying to determine if the steel really does increase the power output. And so here we go again, another shot. It's pretty hard hit. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull that back out of there without some work. It's in there pretty good. Okay. Okay, now we're going to try once again without the outer steel form. I remain at this point totally unconvinced that steel form accomplishes anything. And move it a little bit to the left. And fire. Ooh. It's in there someplace. I'll have to watch that to see if I actually use the same hole as before. But we'll try again. Okay, once again we're trying one inch from the end of the form to the coil. And actually studying, at that point the end of the bolt would be just a tiny bit into the coil. And here we go again. Again, I can't tell if I hit an old hole or not. I'll have to watch the video and see what happened there. Okay, trying one inch again and again without the steel form into the cardboard box and hopefully I'm not going to hit a used spot. Uh, you have to watch that one in slow motion, but it looks like it was a new hole. Okay, back to one inch again. And once again without the steel. And aiming to get a new box or new hole in the box. Here it goes. Yeah, right in there. Pretty powerful. Okay, this time we upped it to inch and a quarter. 
Again, with no steel, because that steel seems to accomplish little or nothing. Inch and a quarter. Ready. Aim. Fire. Pretty wicked fast. Okay, here we go again. This time we're at one and a half inches with no steel. And uh, see what we get. Inch and a half. What happened there? We'll have to watch that one in slow motion, see what went wrong. Okay, we're inch and a half again. Again, without any steel. Into the box. Get another test firing. And see what we get. Uh, failure to penetrate. Definitely inch and a half is too far. Okay, this time we're going to do three quarters of an inch just to see what kind of uh, how we get at three quarters of an inch. All the tests have proven that one inch to an inch and a quarter are the best. But well, let's try it and see what happens. Here we go. Mm, not bad, but didn't go through. Okay, and here we are at inch, one inch and one eighth of an inch. Should give us the most powerful launch. By the way, the bolts are an inch and a quarter in length. And the nuts need to be on the bolts, by the way. I think the nuts give it uh, uh, better directionality when firing. And here we go. Yeah, definitely in there. Okay, we're doing an inch and an eighth with the steel over it. Just test one last time to see if the steel does anything. Kind of have my doubts. And here goes. Wow. It's in there a ways. Maybe it does do something. Here we go again. This is an inch for the steel. The reason why is because, well, we found a spot in the box that didn't have a hole in it yet. <laughs> we thought we'd blast it one last time. So here we go. Yeah. Nasty. Wouldn't want to hit, be hit by that. And I guess that's all for now. Thank you and goodbye.